Well, Daniel, you've had almost two months here now at West Bromwich Albion. How have you enjoyed it so far? Uh, very much. Um, it's been a nice welcoming group uh, of boys to, to come into and uh, uh, started off with a good few results as well. So it was nice to go into the international, um, being unbeaten in the league. And uh, yeah, we're looking forward to carrying on that one. Do you feel settled here at this club? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's happened really quickly and uh, I didn't know too much about it uh, before I was coming, but uh, it, was a, it was a hectic couple of weeks. But then after that, I settled right in and yeah, just enjoying it now. And you've joined a club that has plenty of competition at fullback places and areas as well, haven't you? You've got four players there, Connor, Kieran, yourself and Nathan as well. What's that like to have healthy competition in a squad? Uh, it's always good. It's always good for the squad, for the morale of the squad. You know, no one sort of thinks they're playing every game, which uh, sometimes in the past I've, I've seen and players can become laxed and a little bit relaxed in, their, in, a, in how they do stuff. So it's good competition and it's only going to be the best for the football club. And unexpectedly as well, 18-year-old Nathan Ferguson has broken into the first team this year, obviously, you work with him every single day out in the training pitch. You've seen him play. What have you made of his start to the season? Uh, very good. I mean, I, I didn't know he was 18 when I came in. You know, he's, he's fitted into the group very well. I, I think he only came in this season. I'm not too sure. But, um, but yeah, as I said, there's good competition everywhere. And, yeah, we're just uh, enjoying trying to play. You've had two weeks since that game against Blackburn, mm -hmm. Darnell. What's the international break like for players when you don't go away on international duty, what what do you kind of do in training? What's the session? What are the sessions like? What's the tempo like? Um, it's it's about keeping ticking over. You know, you can't sort of you don't want to blast yourself because it is about the rest, and and you don't want to uh, ease off too much because it's hard to get going again. So it's just about keeping that balance, and then more importantly, like mentally, just switching off for for a little while and not having a game to prepare or think about. Um, so yeah, it's nice to just be able to spend a few days at home and, and forget about football for a while, and then get back to the business. It's a big one to come back to as well, isn't it? Fulham away at Craven Cottage on Saturday. Fulham tipped for promotion, of course, by plenty of people in the game. Is that the kind of game that you want coming back straight from an international break? Yeah, why not? I mean, you've got to play everyone at some stage. So whoever we play, we're not too bothered about in what order they come. So it's a great game to get um, get going again in, and we just have to make sure, have to make sure that, we're, that we're very ready for it. Would you say that Fulham are our toughest test yet this season? Um, I think it could be, yeah. I mean, away from home as well. Premier League side last season and you know it's just uh, it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be a difficult game but yeah we'll be ready and um, we'll see what happens. You mentioned the unbeaten start to the season as well in the league a little bit earlier in the interview. What's the confidence like among the group at the moment? Uh, yeah, it's, it's confidence but we're we're not getting too ahead of ourselves. You know, there's no um, there's no arrogance in in training or in games or anything like that. It's just we've worked hard for the results that we've got and um, yeah, it's nice that uh, we are unbeaten. We will lose at some point but um, hopefully it comes uh, further away and closer. And just finally, just touch on Slavin Bilic a little bit. Obviously, a, a former defender himself. As a as a defender yourself, how much are you learning and picking up from him every day? Yeah, lots. As I said before, it's about. Um, I've had a few different managers now at different clubs, and it's about picking up little bits from each one and seeing where you can go with it um, and how you can adapt your game to it. So, as I said, I'm uh, enjoying the style of play and trying to take on board anything I can.